2016 is the year of the literal shakening. Oh my god, I'm literally shaking right now. I'm literally shaking right now. Literally shaking right now. I'm literally shaking right now. Oh my god, I'm literally shaking right now. I am literally shaking right now. Oh my god, I'm literally shaking. Oh my god, I'm literally shaking. Oh my god, literally shaking right now. Literally, literally, literally shaking right now. I'm literally shaking. I am. Oh my god, I am literally shaking now. Like, you have no idea that I am literally shaking. I like I literally, can't literally, even, like, literally, I can't literally, even. What is there? I'm literally shaking. Literally, I'm literally shaking. shaking. So literally oh my god, I'm literally shaking. shaking. This feels like watching 9 11 happen all over again in slow motion. As someone who lives in New York and who has friends and family who are affected by the 9-11 terrorist attacks, kindly go fuck yourself, friend. Please God, don't let Trump win. Some of these mad assholes even resorted to shaming the first lady because she's done some nude photos. I can't wait for a woman president. Ha, sexism is bad, right guys? Just kidding, here's the first lady naked. What a slut, am I right? But the creme de la creme of this beautiful salt mine had to be Lacey Green's epic meltdown. Regardless of the outcome, we are clearly a deeply divided and broken country. So much work ahead to mend, heal, and restore the you in USA. Two hours later. We are now under total Republican rule, textbook fascism, fuck you white America, fuck you you racist, misogynist pieces of shit, Good night. Zero to a hundred real quick. Lacey, you're doing a fine job doing that whole uniting America thing by telling every white person to go fuck themselves. A plus. By the way, did you forget that you're white? Here's a reminder, you're fucking white. And that's not fascism, sweetheart. That's democracy. So literally Hitler was elected. But why? How could this have happened, Shu? How could a meme get into office? Well, buddy boy, let someone who doesn't know shit about politics explain to you why this occurred. First of all, the DNC fucked up multiple times. They thought Trump would be so ridiculous and such a wild card that Hillary would be an easy victory. Lo and behold, that backfired real quick, cause turns out America likes the ridiculous wild card over the awkward grandma trying so hard to be hip with the kids. I don't know who created Pokemon Go. But I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. Oh, God. And second of all, it probably has to do with the fact that they threw the popular, well-liked candidate under the bus. Snubbing Bernie was the biggest mistake the DNC made. Well, that and just being really corrupt in general. Say what you want about either of them, but Bernie and Trump both represented change. They were relatable. They were different. Hillary was fucking nothing! And did you notice that everyone who wasn't a celebrity who supported Hillary just did so because at least she's not Trump. She basically wants to start a war with Russia, but you know, at least she's not Trump. If they let meritocracy play out naturally and didn't snub Bernie, instead of pushing this unrelatable robot on us, it could have been different. It could have been Bernie versus Trump and who knows how that would have turned out. Thanks to the Bernie bros meme, the liberal media push, and all the celebrities just, Chillery Clinton, Chillery Clinton, isn't she cool? Chillery Clinton. The DNC made their bed full of shit, and now they have to sleep in it. Too bad. So sad. Hope you learned your lesson. I was like 100% sure she was gonna take it, just based on everything I was seeing, like the media, like SNL pushing it, everyone making fun of Trump, Trump sexist, Trump racist, oh, isn't Trump terrible? Trump, 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 I hate Trump. All in all, I think America just wanted someone who tells it like it is. I think they also wanted someone who would call Islamic terrorism for what it is. Islamic terrorism. I bet Saudi Arabia really wants their money back from Hillary right now. <laughs>